Hi, my name is James. I've been helping businesses become successful with lasers for over 23 years. I think the best thing about Trotec is the build quality. It's not always exciting to talk about the build quality of our machines, but I think it's important. Most people look at speed and power as the differentiator between lasers. It's fun to talk about the bells and whistles of a laser, but I focus on quality. A Trotec laser's chassis is manufactured in Austria from welded steel, which makes them rigid. They may cost a little more to make them on a welded steel, but our engineers are looking 12 years down the road when manufacturing them. They want them to still be vital cutting and engraving machines for a long time. If a laser's chassis is made of bolted together aluminum, it will likely bend or sag over a few years, resulting in distortion of the beam path. This kind of distortion cannot be easily fixed with a simple alignment. If you use a laser with an aluminum chassis, you'll be left having to deal with an unaligned laser. This is why Trotec only makes them out of welded steel. You will save money having a rigid steel chassis because every part of your laser bed will be able to be engraved with precision for many years and you will know the quality of the engraving will remain. I once ran a different brand of laser and I was unable to engrave in the bottom left corner because the machine was so out of alignment and with all our troubles, we could not align it. We just had to deal with it. Some customers with aluminum chassis have to align their laser after only moving them a few feet to clean behind them. Now, I have a Speedy 360 from Trotec in my van. I've put 120,000 kilometers on this van over the years and I haven't had to align the laser even once. This laser gets bumped and vibrated and occasionally smashed in the back of my truck and it has never once had to be aligned. This is because the build quality of the machine is so strong. So choose Trotec for the best quality and the most reliable laser machines in the industry.